Um, but the way God views the church as a we makes community really important. And community is required equipment to grow in our faith. It's required equipment. How many know what I'm talking about when I say required equipment, right? If you had a kid that ever played football, like you can't go on the field without a mouth guard in, right? You, know, you can't be a baseball You can't get up to the bat to, as a batter in baseball and not have a bat in your hand, right? That's required equipment. And, and the problem is, is that a lot of times relationships within the context of how God views the church versus how we view the church, sometimes relationships, deep relationships, intentional community, it's not seen as required. It's seen as just optional. If I have time, if I've got margin, you know, that's, that's what it should be. That's what it could be. But the truth is, is that it's, it's not optional. Now, you can be a part of a church, and I say that from the standpoint of you can be at a church, attend a church, enjoy a church, even serve at a church, and hang out with those couple of friends that you know at church and still have a completely me-centered, me-focused aspect of church. Versus an understanding of, of a we church, how that not just God sees the church as a we, but we, through our community, through our relationships, actually see the church as a we. And the community is a big, big word. I mean, uh, Chris Denning, who's been helping us with our uh, kind of restructuring some of our group format, uh, he's been walking us through just the concept of, of casual community versus relational community, or sorry, intentional community. And casual community is something that we do pretty easily. Casual community is really kind of driven by uh, so, social interests or best interests, usually big group formats. You know, it can be uh, me at a bar with somebody, you know, watching a game. You know, I can have casual community. It could be at a large sporting event. It could be at church. You know, we can come to church and cheer on the We Initiative and you, the person you just met, and be like, yay, awesome, go journey, yeah. It's easy to be a fan, right? It's easy to be a fan when, you're, when, you're, when you've got something kind of focused on and you can be casual in your community, but that casual community is still very me-centered. It's still very centered on whether it's convenient for me or you know, what, what's in it for me, kind of what I talked about last week. It, fits, it fills that, 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 those independent desires that are in us versus intentional community, which really has a lot to do with relationship with deep understanding and relationships of knowing other people and being known, willing to be known. That it, that it talks about ownership, intentional community, shape, community is an aspect of ownership. It's this idea that when you try to explain journey to someone, you know, just even in some of your language, if somebody says, what is journey, who is journey, what do they do, and, and, and your comments, depending on how you would talk about it, you know, you might say, well, they do this, and they help with kids, you know, that have food security issues, and they have a worship service, and they do this, and, and if you're using a lot of that language, then the idea is probably you have a little bit of a me-centered, me-focused idea of what church is. Versus the ownership that comes when somebody says, whose journey and what do they do? And it's the idea, they say, well, we do this and we go serve in Peru and we, we help this and we, we're involved in this. And you have some aspect of connection and those connections, I can promise you, have nothing to do with what I say, have nothing to do with the, 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 the feeling that happens on Sunday morning. It has to do with relationships that you have in this community. If you actually have a we you know, perspective of this church. So again, the goal of the series is just to help us identify where we are and move us. If we have any parts of us that are just kind of me, me perspective, we want to move you to we. We want to move you to the way God sees this. And today I'm focused on community. I'm focused on these relationships that we build with each other because, guys, I'm telling you, community is required for our faith to grow. It can't just be, listen, it can't just be knowledge because you can come to a big gathering and hear teaching and grow in knowledge. You can even be inspired. It's not knowledge. It's not just you on a nature trail with some sermon podcasts, like, you know, just thinking that you're growing in your faith because you're not actually growing in your faith. You're growing in your knowledge. Knowledge allows us to grow to learn more about who God is, but community allows us to be more and, my, more, and more like him. Does that make sense? We get to actually work it out. That's the point of community is to work out what God is doing in us. And as we do learn more, which learning is part of it, community is required for spiritual growth, for our faith to grow, because we have to have, he just created it this way where it's going to be on this plane between you and me. It matters what happens between you and me in terms of my spiritual growth. There's a lot of people here, I'll be honest with you, you're probably struggling a little bit. You're struggling a little bit, maybe not so much with knowledge. Maybe you are, you need to learn a little bit, but you're struggling because you, you assume that those relationships and community is just optional. It's just optional. It's just, it's just if you have time, if you have margin, if you have, and you're struggling with your spiritual growth because you don't understand the purpose of community, an intentional community at that. So I want to walk you through very quickly.